The Nigerian Odler Toby Amuso became the first Nigerian athlete to win a World Athletics Championship gold as she stormed to victory in the women's 100 meter orders in Oregon on Sunday. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh, and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. Join this amazing community we have here. Most importantly, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget also to click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Amuson, who had obliterated the world record in an astonishing semi-final where she clocked 12.12 seconds, powered over the line at Hayward Field in 12.6 seconds. In this piece, the news highlights other record-breaking feats from the 25-year-old world champion. Preceding I imagined at the recipient of Nigeria's first ever world championship gold, Amoso had produced a job-breaking world record in the semi-finals, smashing the previous best mark of 12.20 seconds held by Kenny Harrison of the United States in 2016. Amoso, who finished fourth three years ago at the World Championship in Doha, also became the second Nigerian sprint order to win a medal at the championships after Gloria Lonzi, who won a silver medal in CV Spain in 1999. Amoson became the first Nigerian to bag a Diamond League trophy in September 2021, when she set a sensational African record and personal best of 12.42 seconds, Zurich breaking, Zurich breaking Gloria Alonze's 23-year African record. Alonze ran 12.44 seconds in Monaco on August 8, 1998, to set a new African record, running the time two other times in Brussels. 20 days later, and at the World Championships in August 28, 1999, in Seville, Spain. Nigerian Tobia Musso broke the African record after clocking 12.41 seconds in the 100 meter women's order in June 2022. Amuso broke her own record with her third best run of the season at the Diamond League meet in Paris, France. During the Paris Diamond League, Amuson blazed to victory with a time 12.41 seconds that moved her up to third in the world in 2022, only behind world leader Jasmine Camacho Quinn with the record 12.37 seconds and Alicia Johnson, 12.40 seconds. Amazon became only the fifth woman to successfully retain gold at the 100 meter orders event after claiming gold at the African Athletics Championships in Mauritius in June. The 25 year old won the title for the first time in 2018 at the 21st edition of the competition and is now the third Nigerian to successfully defend the Sprint Order's title after Maria Usifo, 1984 and 1985, and Gloria Lonze, 1998, 1996, and 2000. She is the fifth African to achieve this feat. In, in, in August, pardon me, 2021, Amuson won her first semi finals in 12.62 seconds to become the first Nigerian since Gloria Lonze at Sydney 2000 to qualify for the 100 meter orders final at the Olympics. She broke Nigerian's 21 year old 
record. Since she broke this record, a lot of Nigerians, even the president and, you know, um, I dignitaries have been congratulating her for this, for this feat that she ha- accomplished. The world fastest man, Usain Bolt, has congratulated Nigerian athletic star Toby Amuso on her performance in the ongoing World Athletic Championship. The news reported that Amuso became the first Nigerian athlete to win a gold medal in the World Athletics Championship when she stormed to victory in the women's 100 meter orders in Oregon on Sunday within 12.6 seconds. Wow, at 25 years old. For her to have accomplished this, it takes hard work and dedication. I congratulate her. I know that this is not easy for her to accomplish. It didn't like it, it. She didn't just get here. It take consistently showing up, you know, and you know, consistent training every day, consistently showing up for her to you know get to this stage. Fans have praised Toby Amuson's world record-breaking sprint at the just-concluded World Athletics Championship in Oregon. The United States, which saw her receive Nigerians' first ever world championship gold, underline that it's not easy. Like the women these days, the Nigerian women, they are doing us proud. Look at um, Kemi Badenoch, who said she is going to run for UK uh, Prime Minister, and look at the uh, Super Falcons also doing Nigeria proud. They did, though they did not call it the cup. But you know, it's 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 their ninth time, ninth time they have won, you know, the African Cups consecutively, like consistently back to back nine times. This year could have made it the tenth time. Where I'm going to be drawing the curtain for now. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on your post notification so that you can get notified anytime we post a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.